Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. You were injured and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious, dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I do not mind. Take your time. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Who says I would ransom for coin? Gold has its uses, I suppose, but power buys far more. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, 
We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours.
I may have answers. Ask. Tis a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travellers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I mention it for its tavern, where travellers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared, and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wider.